Faringa, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. So, you're Biggins, in that Kelsey who came from the western this talk of dragons? Yes, my well lord. gone mad, I say. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irelet, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. No, I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. <coughs> One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of Cawthron. I envy you the chance to see this dragon up close. I've seen you helping the Yarl. If only all this is to wipe out for us, no. <laughs> the guards in Dragon Street say you aided the Yarl. On behalf of White Run, I thank you. Here's the situation. A dragon is attacking the Western Watchtower. A what? dragon? Now we're in for it. You heard right. I said a dragon. I don't much care where it came from or who sent it. What I do know is that it's made the mistake of attacking Whiterun. But Housecard, how could we fight a dragon? That's a fair question. None of us have ever seen a dragon before or expected to face one in battle. But we are honor bound to fight it. Even if we fail, this dragon is threatening our homes, our families. Could you call yourselves Nords if you ran from this monster? Are you going to let me face this thing alone? No, no, so how dead. Hard. But it's more than our honor at stake here. Think of it. The first dragon seen in Skyrim since the last age. The glory of killing it is ours, if you're with me. Now, what do you say? Shall we go kill us a dragon? Yeah, damn yeah. right. Let's move out.
the wind blows, but... Huh? I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere... Still here. 
here somewhere. Rocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Kinneret, save us. Here he comes again.
I can't believe it. You're Dragonborn. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. Well, you can shout now. You couldn't before, right? That can only mean one thing. You must be Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? My grandfather used to tell stories about the Dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septon himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septon killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They're just coming back now for the first time in... forever. But the old tales tell of the Dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Yerla? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, Yerla. Tell us, did you believe in this Dragonborn business? <clears throat> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your thumbs on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. We're here to teach you a lesson. This I you you won't leave here alive! Stop! 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 Stop!
already been told you're not allowed here. Turn around and go back the way you came. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for her. I don't care what you're doing. After what happened, I to ain't her, done I nothing. You in jail. Now get lost. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. By Izmir, you did it! You killed the dragon. There's been talk amongst the guards. But you are dragon. Such a thing. You're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a doom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Rangar, don't be so hard on Avenichi. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place, very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord.
May the gods watch over your battles, friend. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the Hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Lead the way. Most trouble in White Run, and I'll pull you into the Dragon's Reach dungeon myself. The gods gave you two hands, and you use them both for your weapon. I can respect that. <laughs> <laughs> 